Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon Frain. We are back with another video. Today, we're looking at BitTenter Tau once again and staking on the BitTenter network with both Tau itself and Subnet Alpha tokens to show you how you can earn hundreds of percent yield in APY. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below the video. Grab that for yourself now. It's my gift to you. And let's talk about staking on Tau. So first and foremost, a couple of prerequisites. If you want to actually be staking and earning yield on Tau, you do need to be using a Tau native wallet. You do need, you do need to have Tau funded into your wallet and you're going to need to purchase that on an exchange, maybe a familiar exchange like Coinbase or whatever you're used to using for purchasing your crypto assets. So that prerequisite is something that you're going to need to have. And you're going to need to have a Tau native wallet where you send that capital into so that you can start staking on Tau. We're going to take a look at some options in today's video. But first and foremost, with T Tau staking, you have the ability to stake your Tau to the root network or to a specific subnet. So you can see over here on taustats.io, we've got all of the different subnets. If you're not familiar with subnets, I've done other videos about them on the channel. I will leave links at the top of the screen. Definitely check those out. But for all intents and purposes, what we're looking at here is a bit over 115 subnets on the Tau network at the moment. Every subnet is its own individual business, providing valuable information to the network trying to earn Tau as a result. And if you hold the subnet alpha token, you're also staking that and generating yield. We're going to look at some examples, but the easiest option, if you just want to hold Tau and stake Tau to earn yield, you can stake that to root, which is technically subnet zero, and you can earn yield and staking rewards for doing that. Again, the staking rewards for root at the moment typically vary between 15 and 20% APY. So you can be generating some pretty nice yield by staking your Tau to root. And when you stake to root, you do need to choose a validator in order to delegate your stake to. If you're doing that staking with root or with any of the subnets, you do need to choose a validator. And one of the resources and sites that I like to use for assessing all of these different subnets and their yield potential along with validators is tauyield.com. This is a very useful website. If you come over here, it gives you all the information about the APYs you can be generating for delegating and staking all of your Tau or your alpha token across different validators. So if we look at root, for example, you can see here that we have the ability to generate about 17.86% from supplying or staking our Tau to the root network. Again, if we click into root even deeper, now it gives us a list of all the individual validators that we can choose to delegate our stake to so that we can generate that staking reward. You will notice the APY differs depending on the validator that you choose. So you may want to choose a validator that gives you a slightly higher APY. It's not always the best option, but you can compare and contrast different validators and compare and contrast the APY potential you could be earning by choosing a specific validator for staking your Tau. I hope this is making sense so far. Drop a comment below the video if you have any questions, and we will definitely make sure we cover all the intricacies of this in further videos as well. But another very helpful resource to learn more about Tau and everything that's happening on the BitTenter network is learnbittenter.org. If you come over here, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below the video as well, but it basically gives you a very good breakdown of how staking and delegation works. Like we mentioned already, delegation lets users support validators without running a node themselves. So the whole purpose of, a, of a using a validator <clears throat> to stake your Tau to root or a different subnet is the fact that you don't have to go and set up your own node in order to generate the staking rewards. By delegating your Tau, users are lending that staking power to validators who become delegatees. And again, users keep control of their tokens and can unstake them at any time, though there are limits on frequency. So again, I hope this is all starting to make sense and you can see the potential here because where this gets really juicy is when you actually want to stake 
to specific subnet alpha tokens. Again, if we jump back over to Tau Stats, we know there's a whole bunch of different subnets where we can be staking our Tau. Again, the word staking here can be a little bit misleading because what you're essentially doing is purchasing that subnet alpha token by swapping your Tau into it and then generating APY and also essentially making a bet on the fact that you have the ability to potentially outperform the Tau native token with the subnet alpha token. So by staking your subnet alpha token, stakers earn rewards for doing that. And like I said, the APY potential with these subnets can be much, much juicier compared to staking Tau on the root network. There's no lockup period for most stakes. So you've got to remember that it is almost like a liquid staking setup. You can swap in and out of these different subnet alpha tokens and between root as well, very, very easily. Okay. But the staking on these different subnets does carry some risks. You've got to remember that you do have the potential to underperform against the Tau token as well. And the yields that the staking generates are not guaranteed to remain consistent over time. They will fluctuate. They will go up, they will go down. And you have to understand the risks involved here because if we click on a subnet just like shoots, you can see that the price of shoots has been increasing versus Tau over the past few days but that could very easily work in the opposite direction. The shoots token was underperforming against Tau here for a number of weeks when we had this action in this downtrend and only more recently has it been moving to the upside to outperform Tau. So you have to remember the risk inherently carried here is the fact that there is potential for the subnet alpha token to underperform against the Tau token. But just like I said, let's look at the potential over on Tau Yield for what you could be earning by providing staking over on Shoots. If we click into Shoots, you can see the APY potential for staking is much, much higher than simply supplying your Tau into Root. You're getting in excess of 100% APY across many of the top validators here when you choose to purchase the Shoots subnet alpha token and stake it to generate yield. You're getting 112% with Taubot. You're getting 105% with Aerie van der Tau. You're getting almost 100% with many of these other notable validators. And so what you're seeing here now is the point I'm trying to make. There is very juicy yield potential with many of these subnets. So Shoots is one of the larger subnets, but the fact that you can get more than 100% APY on a subnet that's currently outperforming Tau over the past couple of days is pretty phenomenal. It's up to you to do the research to determine whether that subnet will actually continue to outperform Tau into the future. But at least for now, you can start to see some of the potential here with staking some of these subnet alpha tokens. Let's take another example. Let's look at Templar. Let's jump back over to the subnets here, if we look at Templar, Templar is giving roughly the same um, max APY over the past week as Shoots is. It's getting about 108%. But looking at some of these other notable subnets, you're getting close to 300% in staking APY with subnet number eight, Proprietary Trading Network. You're getting in excess of 239% with Celium, 223% with Targon. And if you fundamentally believe in the potential of these subnets, Yes, they may actually outperform Tau on a percentage basis over the coming months, all while you're generating this phenomenal staking yield. So again, this comes back to the whole point I've been making on the channel over the past few weeks. I think the subnet ecosystem within BitTensor Tau is possibly one of the most underrated areas in the crypto space at this moment in time. You have the potential to be generating staking yield and earning income from purchasing and allocating to these different subnet tokens. One of the other sites I shared on the channel here pretty recently is Backprop Finance. Again, you can use Backprop to trade in and out of these subnet tokens. Again, if you're holding Tau in your wallet, you can swap that Tau into a specific subnet token if you wanted to purchase uh, subnet number three temp, which we looked at a moment ago, you can swap Tau for that subnet token. You can also swap subnet tokens for other subnet tokens. So I've got some Bitcast subnet 93 token in my wallet. I could swap subnet 93 for subnet three and start staking subnet number three Templar to generate that 108% 
APY from staking that we looked at a moment ago. So I'm hoping this is making sense, guys. I know it's quite confusing and there's a lot of details involved here, but I encourage you to take some time, do some research, get hands on and dive a little bit deeper into BitTensor Tau and all of the subnets and the opportunities that they're presenting at this moment in time, I think it is an asymmetric bet in the entire crypto space. And I'm very excited to see the growth potential with the Tau token itself, but also with how many of these subnets establish themselves as legitimate revenue generating businesses. And many of them will outperform Tau on a percentage basis over the coming year. You can benefit from that by allocating to them and simultaneously, you can generate these phenomenal staking rewards. I'm going to leave a link for this website, Learn BitTensor, and this specific page so you can learn more about staking and delegation on the Tau blockchain. Again, tons of resources over here on learnbittensor.org. Check out Tau Stats as well. It gives you a breakdown of all the different subnets. It gives you lots of information. You can analyze exactly how they're performing in dollar terms and in Tau terms by analyzing the charts here. I hope this video has been helpful, guys. If you got any value at all, out of today's video, it would mean the world. Just take three seconds right now, drop a thumbs up on the video below. It helps to spread the good word. If you're bullish on Tau, I wanna hear a comment from you below this video. I wanna know what you're doing. Which subnets are you allocating towards? Where do you think the investment potential lies within the subnet ecosystem? Drop a comment below this video, drop any questions as well. I'm gonna make a follow-up to this video in another week or so to give more insights on specific subnets and specific staking yields that you can be generating. Make sure to like this video on your way out the door, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin linked below the video. Grab it in the description and we'll catch you in the next one.